Hi friends, this is the Bonita Springs, Florida real estate market update for May 2020. Uh, we do send those out in the middle of June because we wait for as many closed sales and the property in the market to settle in the MLS so that we can collect the most accurate uh, data to get to you. Um, we do have a monthly MailChimp newsletter. So if you are seeing this video online uh, for example, on YouTube or Facebook, please know that we do have an online newsletter. We'll try to uh, put a link in the comments below so that you'll be able to find it and subscribe if you'd like to have this delivered to your email box. <clears throat> the newsletter is generally pretty short and sweet. Uh, this is an older newsletter. Uh, typically at the bottom, we do have uh, a few things, including the monthly market report breakdown with links to all the graphs on the website, if you'd like to see them in larger format, as well as some of our new upcoming listings. Uh, this, uh, in the next couple of days, and actually I think two of them are active already, we do have three or four listings coming to market. We have three that are on canals um, east of 41, which is along the Imperial River. So we do have a larger three bedroom plus a den that would uh, likely have a really great efficiency if you wanted to run a little bit of a rental or an Airbnb. It's not in a deed restricted community. So you will be able to uh, rent daily, weekly, um, or for the weekend if you'd like to have guests that way. In addition to that, on the other side of the river on Buccaneer Drive, we do have a single family home three bedroom, two bath. It does have both a living room and a family room. The, the family room is open with a large island to the kitchen. So if you like that communal space, it's just set up perfectly for entertaining. It does have golf access. It is at the end of the canal. The folks that currently own the home use it seasonally and do also rent the home. So there is a great rental history. The home does come partly furnished. So if you are looking for a way to maybe underwrite some of your costs of owning a home a few years out from actually moving here, this would be a great opportunity. In addition to that, we have a, um, a ground floor condominium already completed uh, with an update and remodel. So there's not a thing for you to do. It neat as a pin, super clean, hard surface floors throughout, uh, nice countertops, granite, uh, lovely uh, cabinetry, as well as it actually faces a preserve, a mangrove preserve. So it is quiet, peaceful, a great starter property for somebody that just wants to get their feet wet here or just would like a, a maintenance-free way to live. That one's going to be priced at $183, um, two-bedroom, two-bath, ground floor. Uh, we also have an attached villa coming onto the market in Country Creek and Estero, and that is a uh, bundled golf community, 18-hole uh, executive course included with home ownership. Lovely property, two bedroom, two bath, great condition, solid surface uh, floors through the main living area, new kitchen cabinets and countertops, uh, just a lovely warm wood color. Again, a private view backs up to just like a little hedged in wooded area. That one's going to list for 225000 So, if we can help you learn more about any of these properties or new properties coming up, just let us know. In addition to uh, what we have for listings in the newsletter, we also talk a little bit about the market reports. So as far as the market reports go, you know, per the usual, we don't have a lot of short sales or foreclosures. Um, everything is looking pretty uh, pretty good uh, in Southwest Florida. We just have a, a steady drip of properties that I, I think that banks don't even know that they own. And as they hit the market, they, they come for sale and they don't actually sell at a discount. They sell at market price. Uh, sometimes they need a little bit of work done to them. Sometimes they're turnkey ready and they've been rehabbed by an investment company. As far as the sales, uh, our sales are a little bit off. And part of this is just a reflection of COVID. What I would will tell you is it, it interfered with the closed sales because we are about 60 days out from when the original lockdown happened and nobody was leaving their homes. So we were closing up properties that may have been pending at that point. And the only thing keeping people from buying or selling was the fact that they couldn't go out and look at homes. Since then, we have broken every record with regard to pending sales. So all of our sales, uh, our contracts that are being written are above any time period last year at this point. We have just exceeded all of those. So you will see that a lot of our properties are selling cash. We're about 50% cash. You can see that in the graph. These graphs, like I said, are available on the, the website. 
Um, in addition, conventional mortgages. Money is really inexpensive. I can tell you that we just closed uh, a townhome in Hacienda Village with a first-time home buyer, and I believe she locked in at 2.75%. That is amazing. It blows my mind. For anybody that's my age-ish. <laughs> Remember the 80s? Remember the interest rates back then? Yeah, 2.75. And I let her know that it's a unicorn. You will forever chase that number. Enjoy your home. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? So all these graphs, you know, just kind of break everything down for you. Uh, most importantly, uh, this graph is probably the one that you should be really paying closely, uh, close attention to. Uh, if you are a home seller or a home buyer, this graph is really important that most of our sales are really 400,000 and under. So if you're out there looking at property or you're looking at property online and you see something that is priced appropriately, in good condition, good location, and it's sort of checking all the boxes, you aren't the only buyer looking at it. And that means you really need to be serious about your offers. And you know, the market will tell you, I will tell you uh, the homes that I sold, even through the pandemic, people are buying them sight unseen. Um, half of them have been with multiple offers. And the buyers I, that I'm working with, I've let them know whether or not they have the luxury of time on their side. There are some neighborhoods where properties aren't moving that quickly and somewhere you really have to be serious and you have to come to the table with your highest and best offer. And that is the news I bring both to buyers as well as to sellers who are uh, getting ready to put their property on the market. You do need to know your inventory. You do need to know whether or not you need to take that first offer very seriously or if you have a little bit of room to play hardball, it all is neighborhood by neighborhood and knowing what your absorption rate is. So if I can help you learn more about anything that's in the newsletter or anything that we've talked about here today, just reach out. It'd be my pleasure to help you. And that's it. All the best. Hope you all stay well.